Coming up next on Auto Show TV, Victoria is at Anchor Subaru to check out all the features of the 2015 Subaru Forester. Plus, I sit down with Randy Batella at Reliable Collision Repair in West Warwick. Also, we stop in at Sound Effects to see how they do their installations and upgrades. All that and more this morning on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, welcome to Auto Show TV. I'm John Coletto. So just what goes on behind the scenes at a collision repair facility? Your car goes in all smashed up, comes out looking like brand new. How do they do it? We'll find out in a few minutes. But first, we begin here at Anchor Subaru in North Smithfield. Let's check out one of the coolest all-wheel drive vehicles on the market, the 2015 Subaru Forester. I'm Victoria Moran, and today, Auto Intelligence reviews the 2015 Subaru Forester. Anchor is the area's Subaru expert and Auto Show TV's recommended dealership for all Subaru models. The Forester is a strong contender in the small SUV segment. Despite its compact size, the Forester has tremendous room for passengers and cargo. Gas mileage is quite impressive too, considering it has all-wheel drive. The Forester is one of the top scores in the vehicle crash test by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, and the generous ground clearance means you can actually go off-road should you want to. Here to tell us about the Subaru Forester is product specialist Sean Murray. Thank you, Victoria. How are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Yep. This is the 2015 Forester. It's completely redesigned. It's got a wider wheelbase. Okay. The difference between Subaru and everybody else is they keep practicality in their vehicles and also the safety. Our wheel drive system is very unique. We're the only ones in the market with it. Moving to the front of this car, it has a really nice hexagon shaped grille. It's got the nice big headlights, very easy to see at night, and you also have the fog lights to help out with your visibility during bad weather. Nice oh, and light, isn't it? So light. Nice and easy to lift? Yes. So everything that needs to be replaced on the car, as far as fluid is concerned, has a yellow cap on it. So you have the engine oil, the windshield washer fluid, the brake fluid, and then you have the coolant right here. Also, another thing to notice is, again, the practicality of working on this car. So it means lower cost for maintenance for you because you're not paying as much for labor. The battery is very easy to get to. You don't have to move six things apart to get to it. Yeah. The other thing you want to notice is everything's directly in front here. Your oil filter is now on top. Really easy, mechanics love it. So we're going to move forward here. And again, practicality, Definitely. all right? The mirrors are now on the doors. We have these nice triangle windows that help with visibility so you don't have this pillar that interferes with your visibility while driving. Mm -hmm. The other thing you want to notice on this particular model it has what's called the all weather package. The all weather package has the heated windshield wipers, which is really nice from the Very winter nice. time. It doesn't heat, doesn't freeze up your windshield wipers, all right? You also have heated side mirrors. So we're going to go over here now. We're going to open the door. You can open that door for me, please. Notice how the door opens really wide, yeah. okay? Really easy to get into. The ride height of this vehicle is about 8.7 inches off the ground, which makes it about hip level, so it's really easy to get in and out, okay? Sounds great. You can close that door for me. If you could please open up the rear door. All right. Now, again, safety is extremely important to Subaru. Definitely. Every car on the road today is safe. Subaru has top safety pick plus on all of their models. How they do that is a couple of things. They have airbags throughout the vehicle, but also they added this little safety feature on the bottom of the door. Can you see that bar? Yeah, definitely. That bar goes through the entire door and it locks into the frame. So if this car is ever in a side impact collision, it saves little Johnny in the back seat. So Victoria, there's three different ways you can open up the back door on this. Mm -hmm. You can open it by the inside, by the remote, and then underneath the Subaru sign. Okay. But before we do that, I want to point out something. On this particular SUV, there's a lot of competitors out there, the Honda CRV, the Toyota RAV4, the Ford Escape. The one thing that depicts us again is the practicality of the vehicle. We have a nice, very big back window. It's easy to see out of, okay? So that's another thing that you want to pay attention to when you're looking at the Subaru Forester. If you can go ahead and open up the rear hatch for me, if you hold that button right there, hold it for about 10 seconds. It opens up and then notice the backup camera on the back of the tailgate. Very nice. So we're going to open it up fully, all right? On the inside, you have this nice mat here. This mat is excellent. I do a lot of skiing, throw all my stuff in there, and then I can hose it down at the end of the day. Very nice. Underneath that, you have a lot of storage, okay? And then underneath that is your spare tire. Three power outlets in this vehicle. There's one in the back here. There's one in the center console, which I'll show you later, and one underneath the radio. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Now, the seats do fold down 60-40 split by pulling this tab, and it does fold down flat. If you need the full length of the cargo space, you can actually recline this seatbelt here so it's out of the way. Nice and easy to get into, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna close the door on you so you can feel the full feel of being inside the car. 
The steering wheel, it tilts and telescopes, which means it'll go up, down, in and out. You have the three buttons for your Bluetooth hands-free. Incoming phone calls will be displayed on the screen and the voice of the other person will come through the entire car. You have traction control on this vehicle. That button is down here. That button is only to turn the traction control off. The traction control is always on, but in the event that you are stuck, you turn it off so you have all the power to all the wheels to get yourself out of that position. Oh, okay. So this 4.3 inch color display actually shows you live self-diagnosing of the all-wheel drive system. Once we start driving, it'll show all four wheels lit up green. If there's ever an issue or if one wheel starts to slip, for example, on a patch of ice, it'll show you that right on the screen. And then the remaining screens are just basically about fuel economy and what you're getting for gas mileage, okay? I like this screen because it shows you how many miles you have until empty and then your live fuel economy at the bottom. Moving to the radio, the radio is very easy to use. On the left side, you have the knob for your volume. And on the right side, you have your knob for tuning the radio. You have a USB input for your iPod, which is in the center console, if you'd like to lift that up for me and remove that tray. In the center console, you have a power outlet, you have oh, a USB that. and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for any MP3 player. On the climate controls, you have automatic climate controls. If you push the rear defrost, your rear defrost activates your heated side mirrors, your heated windshield wipers, and of course your rear defrost. Under that, you have your heated seats in the front. They have a high and low setting, and that's for the passenger and the driver only. What was that's that? okay, X mode actually is mm -hmm. meant for severe conditions. What X mode does, it puts the engine, the transmission in a different position, basically in a lower gear mm -hmm. for more torque. For example, if you have a really steep driveway in the winter and it's full of ice, the X mode will help you to get up that driveway so you're not slipping. And then just press it again and I'm out. And it shuts it off. All right. As you notice, we have a giant moonroof on this car. I know, it's The moonroof is standard from the premium levels all the way through the touring. The moonroof does open fully. If you press this button right here and push it once, actually hold it okay. <laughs> and then let go. And it opens completely full, but it does not tilt. Sean, thank you. We really learned a lot today. That was great. Victoria, you're welcome. I hope you enjoyed the 2015 Forester as much as I do. We do pride ourselves here as product specialists with our knowledge on our cars. We're dealer rater dealer of the year for the third consecutive year. Oh, wow. We're easy to get to. We're right here on 146 in North Smithfield, Rhode Island. So there you have it, the 2015 Subaru Forester. Available at Anchor Subaru on Route 146 in North Smithfield. Make sure to check them out. Back here on Auto Show TV today at Sound FX in East Providence on the Seekonk Line with owner Matt DeLuca. Matt, how are you? Great to see you. Thanks for coming by. All right, we're happy to be here today, and we're in a different spot. We're in the shop, which many people don't see when they come into your store. And you're going to give us an overview of what goes on back here, including the cars that are behind us today. But look at this beauty. 2014 Porsche 911 Turbo S you guys are working on. And that's what makes you guys different than other shops, your team of dedicated installers. Absolutely. I mean, a typical day for us, we're going to be doing... Uh, vehicles that you see behind us, basic installations, remote starters, but we also get speci special cars like this that come through now and again, and, uh, and this is one of them I'd love to show you. Tell us what you guys did here at Sound Effects to this Porsche. This vehicle is actually getting a full installed, undetectable Escort 9500 CI Pro radar detector, as well as an integrated backup camera with the factory navigation system. Now, something like this definitely takes time and you have a team of dedicated installers that have been in the business for a long time and that's why people come back to you for this stuff including people that want this stuff put in high-end cars. What goes into installing these things? Absolutely, a vehicle like this obviously requires a, a little bit more TLC than your average vehicle. Uh, a little bit more difficult to work on as well. This is the type of vehicle where we're going to be dropping the front and rear bumper to mount our sensors and run our wires. A good part of the interior is going to come apart as well and in fact uh, to integrate the backup camera with the factory navigation we're actually going to be disassembling the radio and installing our own parts into the factory radio to get the backup camera to work with it. So it's just not plugging a few wires and there's a lot that goes into this. Absolutely, very the, custom, very high-end work. And that's why people pick you here at Sound Effects. We like to think so. But not just Porsches, you guys do the everyday stuff like the car stereo Absolutely. remote starters right behind us. What's going on here? Absolutely, this is a typical day for us. We're doing some remote starters, some car stereo installation, you name it, we do it. So today you got an inside look here at the shop at Sound Effects in East Providence. For more information, they can contact you what ways? Website, soundeffectsonline.com, or feel free to call us at the shop, 431-2100 here in East Providence, 826-2626 in Warwick. Next up, fixing your vehicle after a crash. You're watching Auto Show TV. 
the official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solaro with 76,000 miles and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard and pre-owned dealer. Okay, so you've been in an accident, now what? Fortunately, no one was hurt, but your car's in tough shape and you need to get it fixed. Well, what do you know about body shops? Like any other business that provides a service, there are some really good body shops out there and some that just aren't. One of the very best in Rhode Island is this one, Reliable Collision in West Warwick. We're going into the world of the body shop today and we're gonna find out why Reliable is so good at what they do. Well, Randy, who's this you brought with you today? This is Harry. He's the company mascot here at Reliable Collision Repair. Take us through the process. The phone rings at someone who's been in an accident and now you and your staff here kind of spring into action. Yeah, first we establish whether their vehicle is safe to be driven or not and if it's been towed away by another facility. If it is, we'll send our tow truck to go pick up that vehicle, pay any charges that are owed on it. Uh, we'll also pick customers up at their home if they need and we'll bring them into our shop and we'll put them into one of our own rental cars. And if it's drivable, they just drive it into us and we take care of putting them in a rental car when they get here. Then you look at the vehicle and give them an estimate. We'll take a look at the vehicle, determine what the claims process is gonna be, whether it's gonna involve insurance. Then we'll uh, look at the vehicle to determine what the best way to go about handling the repair is. What makes us different here at Reliable Collision Repair is that I've worked hard to take a look at everything that happens after an accident. We try to give them peace of mind to take care of all of the problems and not just the collision repair aspect. Let's talk about the work that's done here in the shop and, and I, I think people need to know that there's a, a lot of technology here. Maybe we could start with a laser frame straightening machine. Yeah. The measuring system that we utilize to measure customers' vehicles uh, uses laser technology. It measures the tolerances of the car within the thicknesses of a dime to make sure that the vehicle is brought back to exactly the specifications it was at prior to the accident. It can measure a whole multitude of different uh, places on the car. It's, uh, it's an expensive piece of equipment. Uh, I feel it's well worth it though in order to be able to document and show what was done. It also allows us to work on the vehicle while it's being measured. The process of welding and the welding technology has really come a long way in recent years. Yeah, there's been dramatic changes in the welding processes uh, that we see here in the collision repair aspect. The resistance welder that we have is what they refer to as a smart welder. The machine actually measures and tests the metal that it's going to be welding, sets itself, and then performs the weld and gives you an audible signal to let you know that the weld was performed properly. It makes it literally impossible to do an improper weld. Secondly, we have aluminum uh, welders, which again is something that's a little bit newer to the industry, but with the cars that are now coming out with high intensity use of aluminum, as well as ultra high strength steels, there's the need for aluminum as well as silicon bronze welding, all of which we have the equipment to do here. Well, Randy, as technology in the cars comes along, the technology to repair them has to keep up, I guess, right? Absolutely. Not only that, also the training that we need to provide. Um, years ago was very basic and didn't have a lot of changes. Today, it takes constant upgrades and training in order for your technicians to be able to know what it is that they're working on, as well as what the proper way to repair it is, because an improper repair will have dramatic consequences later on if you're involved in another accident. 
Let's talk about paint and paint technology. Painting's changed dramatically from what it was years ago. They're extremely expensive, but they're extremely durable. They'll last a long time. The technology involved in color matching is to the point now that we utilize uh, digital cameras with computer systems to back them up to be able to identify the color and the best way to match that color on the car. What should people know about OEM parts versus aftermarket parts? What I have here, John, is a demonstration to show the difference between a factory OEM part and a aftermarket imitation part. Right. You'll see that both of these parts are designed to be the rear bracket for a, uh, in this case, it's a Mazda vehicle. And the original bracket, you'll see, has reinforcements on two places, and you'll notice that the aftermarket part has none. You'll notice that the bottom has been boxed in, and you'll notice on this side, it's just a couple of thin pieces of steel. And also the gauge of metal that this is made from is almost double what this piece is made from. The price difference between the two of these is quite a bit different. This one obviously being more expensive, the OEM part, but if you feel the weight difference between the two, you'll see that the aftermarket part weighs less than half of what the yeah. original part uh, weighs. It shows the dramatic difference that you can encounter between factory and uh, imitation parts. Right. Randy, I want to ask you, we, we hear radio and TV commercials about insurance companies and that people have a choice if they've been in an accident. You don't have to go to the repair facility that your insurance company suggests or recommends that you do. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. Uh, insurance companies have uh, agreements with certain shops. They'll direct their customers there because they have an agreement with those shops where they're getting discounts for their own benefit. So often that's the reason why they're directing you to go to those facilities. But customers have the right to have the car repaired wherever they choose. Uh, we've worked very hard myself, I'm a member of the Auto Body Association of Rhode Island, and we've worked very hard to make sure that people got that information through different laws that we had passed to make sure that the insurance companies did communicate that fact to the people. On your website and out on the sign out front, I see the Corvette. So tell us the story of the 67 Vet. The 67 Corvette that became the company logo uh, was something that came out of the creation of my mind from seeing uh, other car companies that had built what they call resto mods. It's a car that looks old, but it has all the technology and conveniences of a late model car. So we built that car here in the shop with our skilled technicians from the ground up. Everything from the frame uh, to the convertible top on that car is completely redone and custom. So it has the performance of a new car, but it has the body style of an old car. So I have to ask you, if you run out of loaner cars, do you let people use the vet? Uh, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Reliable Collision Repair is an auto intelligence recommended body shop in Rhode Island. They're located at 24 Begonia Street in West Warwick. Next up, moms and dads are checking out the Honda Odyssey. You're watching Auto Show TV. Back in 1981, my dad, my brother and I started International Motor Group because we had a passion for cars. A lot of people think car buying is stressful, but it doesn't have to be. We handle the financing, no matter what your credit situation, we handle the warranty, and we also get the car registered for you. We keep a wide variety of cars. It's very enjoyable when I can hand the keys to somebody that's buying a car for the first time. Not many people can say they love going to work. I can. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey.
know, with families getting out on the roads more and more now this time of year, we thought this would be a good time to take a look at one of the top selling minivans in America, the Honda Odyssey. And you know, this is the minivan that provides the vacuum cleaner that's built in. You've probably seen the TV commercials, and we're going to put it through its paces in just a minute. This is Casey Martin. He's the sales manager here at Majestic Honda in Lincoln. You sell an awful lot of Honda Odysseys. What makes them so popular? What makes the Odyssey so popular is it's the top in its segment in almost every category, from performance, safety, reliability, technology. It's the best out there. Well, I know there's a lot that we're going to take a look at, but let's start with performance because all five models I know come with the 3.5 liter V6, which is a big engine, but it does provide good gas mileage. It absolutely does. Now Honda's going to a six-speed automatic transmission in all models, which gives you a 28 mile per gallon highway rating. John, before we go inside the Odyssey, I just want to describe to you what bought the power sliding doors on the Odyssey. Good. Okay. Uh, if you want to open it for me, just pull the handle. You can also open it other ways. There's a power switch on the on the for the driver, and there's also buttons inside the vehicle here to open and close for the passengers nice. inside. One thing you'll notice right away, when the window is down on the vehicle, the door only goes back so far. The reason for that is for safety. If you have a child or an animal in the car, there's no danger of it getting stuck in between that opening. Nice. So it's, the window is all the way up, the door will slide back a few inches more. Yep. Give you more room to get to the back seat. Built into the, the vehicle is a sunshade, which is nice to have for infants or for small children. Sure. Another safety feature with it, when the door closes, if something was to get caught, of course, it will sense it and, and reopen the door so nothing gets jammed. Yep. Also, if the fuel door is open, the sliding door will not work. So this way, if someone's fuel in the vehicle, if a child goes to open it, no matter what you do, this vehicle, this door will not open. So I know there's a lot of versatility back here. Tell us about the different seat configurations. Absolutely, John. One thing about the Odyssey is it's a true eight passenger vehicle. Um, some of the minivans only offer a seven, so that's right. another versatile, versatile feature of the Odyssey. Most people tend to not need an eight passenger every day, so the middle seat is fully removable. On top of that, this model in particular has a rear entertainment system available. Um, there's a model above this that also has one with a dual screen rear entertainment system. In Casey, behind the third row, there's still plenty of storage. Absolutely. Even with the third row seat up, there's still plenty of storage. Let me show you. Okay, let's check it out. What's nice about the rear tailgate is you can open it by the remote. There's also a button on the rear of the hatch, and there's also a button on the dashboard to open it as well. Where's yeah. the spare tire? The spare tire is actually in the floor in the middle row, which is nice because it's inside the vehicle, so it's not going to get all dirty. So if you do have a flat tire, you don't have to worry about getting a very dirty tire that's been mounted under the vehicle for years. Nice. Show us how the third row can disappear. The Honda Magic Seat. Very, very simple. Pull up and let it fall. Swoop. You, you do it better than me. <laughs> look at that. That's it. Now look at all the amount of storage space you have now. All right, so now the second row seat configurations, and there are many. <laughs> there are. Um, the most common, if you do leave it as an eight passenger, very easy pass through to the third seat. All you do is grab this handle, Ooh, excuse me. slide it forward. Plenty of room. Plenty of room yep. for a, even an adult to yep. squeeze into the back seat. Sure. When you're all set, slide the seat back where you'd like it, put it back up. And the seat comes out all together. All three seats can be removed. Uh, the middle row seat removes a little differently. There's two main straps. You lift up and the, the seat will completely remove. Now another nice feature on the EX and above models is what they call push start ignition. Uh, you do not have a keyhole on the outside of the vehicle. There is just a lock button. I just locked the vehicle. Yep. You have to have the FARB with you, of course, or within proximity. But what's nice is when you want to lock the door, just put your hand inside, the door's unlocked. Very nice. Another technological feature, more of a safety feature, is Honda has Lane Watch on EX models and above. This is a small camera that when you put your right directional on, on the screen on the dash, will show you your blind spot. So before you swerve over, you can actually see if there's a vehicle in the lane before you proceed. Another really nice safety feature on all five models is a backup camera. Uh, it's standard on all models and it really helps because the visibility, because the height of the vehicle is a bicycle or a kid's toys behind the vehicle, it's very easy to see. Yep. Next safety feature, lane departure warning system. It's only available on the upper models, but what it does is it actually has a camera that follows the lines of the highway if you're swerving in and out of the lanes without using a directional, it'll beep and warn you. Casey, I haven't even uh, asked you about the Honda VAC. 
Absolutely, it's what a cool feature. It's only available in the Twang Elite model, but what an awesome feature. No other minivan has it, and what a great tool. So here's where the Honda Vac is located, right here on the side. Now this is the Touring Elite model of the Honda Odyssey. So here's the Vac. It's actually made by Shop Vac, and you probably heard of Shop Vac. They do wet dry vacs. There's 10 feet of hose. We'll take it right out, and we'll take out the attachment. We'll use this one, okay, for demonstration purposes. Here's the button to turn it on. I mean, it feels like there's a lot of suction here. I have my official uh, concoction of childhood debris, kids debris, you can see that. Let's see how well this works. Really good, excellent. So here we are in the front seat. Here's my debris field and look at this. Plenty of hose to pick up all the way up to the front seat floor. All right, so let's put it away now. we we'll shut it off. Put the uh, attachment back there. See how well I can recoil this and get it to fit. Plenty of room in this little compartment. Put it right in and close it up. Done. And I want to show you too that this is where everything goes. So everything is kind of caught right in here. It's uh, very easy to clean. Everything goes in this yellow bag and very easy to clean it out every once in a while, I'm sure. And that just put a new bag in, clip that back into place, go like this. How easy is that? Well, Casey, we learned a lot about the Honda Odyssey this morning. I know there's a lot of moms and dads who have said to themselves over the years, I'm not gonna become a minivan person, we're not gonna get, but after you see this, and maybe people come down to Majestic for a test drive and they really get an idea of what the Odyssey is, I think you're gonna have some converts. Absolutely. Uh, the Odyssey the, has the stigma of the minivan, but when you see all the versatility, the safety, the performance, and then the cost of ownership of the vehicle, really helps to convert people over to the minivan. Yeah, talk a little bit about the cost of ownership, because that's big. Absolutely. Uh, you know, some vehicles, that people see the initial purchase price of the vehicle. The real key is cost of ownership, which is the, over a five, six, seven year period, how much it costs to maintain the vehicle, uh, how much it costs in terms of reliability. But number one is resale value, which is the largest factor for that, is based on uh, fleet sales. Honda does not do fleet sales, or very limited. Uh, compared to these comp competition. Yeah. So over a five year period, the Odyssey is the lowest cost of ownership minivan on the market. And great deals at Majestic. Absolutely, Majestic's been in business for 40 years. We've got two great locations in Rhode Island, one in Lincoln and one in West Warwick. And you won't find the nicer Honda dealership to do business. Before we go, we want to thank everybody here at Anchor Subaru in North Smithfield for having us this morning. If you want any more information about any Subaru product, visit their website at Anchor Auto Group Dot com. And remember everybody, it's summertime, a lot of people on the roadways, don't drink and drive and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence, thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.